Honorable Mayor Elizabeth Mandin Pasig, Sangguniang Bayan Committee on Education Chairperson Councilor Virgil Luna Loro, Immaculate Conception Paris Priest Reverend Father Mark Caballo, all local government unit officials, Katigbian District Supervisor Dr. Jima Naldosa Ladroma, school principals, teachers, non teaching personnel, retired teachers, key to 12 learners, parents, Katigbian parishioners, and all Katigbianons worldwide. A pleasant virtual evening. It is indeed an honor and privilege to receive an invitation from Dr. Ladroma to give a brief message as you are going to have the virtual deepened night, an opening salvo of the first novenario in honor of Immaculate Conception. Your celebration tonight with the theme, Praises and Thanksgiving, honoring the patroness Immaculate Conception, is a solid proof that despite this pandemic, the Department of Education, the local government units, and the Immaculate Conception Paris is one in showing to the world that without divine intervention, we are nothing in this world. Showcasing teachers' talents through cultural presentations is your way of praising and giving thanks to the patroness and of course to our Almighty Father. May our faith be more strengthened with the pandemic we are facing. For our dear teachers, my warmest and sincerest appreciation for your efforts and continued support to the activities in your communities. This only shows your dedication and sincerity to fulfill your obligations. We shall all be reminded of the two important laws that guides us when it comes to community participation. It is the Code of Ethics of Professional Teachers and the Magna Carta for Public School Teachers, which states, among others, that every teacher shall live for and with the community and shall therefore study and understand local customs and traditions in order to have sympathetic attitude, therefore refrain from disparaging the community. And every teacher is an intellectual leader in the community, especially in the barangays, and shall welcome the opportunity to provide such leadership when needed and to actively be involved in matters affecting the welfare of the people. For our parents and learners, let our faith in God be our guiding stars. As we continue our journey in this world, as our Education Secretary Leonor Briones puts it, education must continue in whatever forms because it is our mandate to provide basic education to all Filipino learners. With that, we should say, in Depet Bohol, we care for all, behold Bohol. Happy Pista! And God bless everyone.